First and foremost, I've known Jamel um, for you know well over 15 years. Um, when I was up at UMass as an assistant, she was at UConn. So we would meet up in Hartford, go out to dinner. Uh, Tanya, who's also the head coach at um, Temple, was a, was a part of that. So that's kind of where our friendship kind of grew, blossomed. And just over the years have kept in touch on the road, things like that, texting um, back and forth, words of encouragement, you know, looking out for one another, things like that. You know, my experiences have really been in um, going to programs that may have been at the bottom level of the conference um, and doing my tenure there, really working to help um, move them to the upper ranks of the conference. Um, and more recently here at Penn State, even going from the bottom uh, when I first arrived, a part of that staff, and then, you know, winning three Big Ten championships in a row. So I know what the rebuilding process looks like. I know the pace and um, the rigors in which are involved in that. So I think I can definitely help Help Jamil. I know what her vision is for the program um, and I know what she wants to get accomplished so I'm looking forward to partnering with her and the rest of the staff and, and really getting after it and, and uh, really infusing this program with a lot of energy, a lot of life and a lot of excitement. I'm very familiar with the Cincinnati area, Ohio, on the larger context. Um, it's an area that I'm very familiar um, coming in recruiting. You know, Ohio is a hotbed for women's basketball, girls' basketball talent. Um, UC's um, academic reputation, I'm, I'm very familiar with a lot of the success um, the men's basketball program has had, so we definitely want to um, bring some of that back over to the women's side of things. I knew that I wanted to be a college basketball coach in high school. I had a phenomenal high school coach um, who really um, got us to be very, very successful back in Baltimore. Um, but she definitely provided me with the discipline and the love for just teaching and the love for basketball. Um, so I knew I wanted a chance to kind of have that kind of interaction with other um, young women, be a part of their growth and development in the very critical years um, from that 18 to 22 kind of time range before we launched them off into the real world. So that kind of is where my passions lie. I love the game of basketball. I can watch it 24 seven, talk about it all the time. Um, so with the basketball and with the personal growth and development of the young ladies, those two things fused together kind of has led me to this point.